Katakuri and the Flamingo They are the most formidable antagonists of the series. But what if there is a fight between them? Who do win? What of the three sweet commanders Charlotte Katakuri or former warlord Don Quixote of Flamingo, also known as the Heavenly Demon? To answer this question, we'll break down the strength, speed, and depth abilities. So without any intro, let's get into the video. If we talk about the Flamingo's strength, in Volume 74, Chapter 739, he effortlessly overpowers both Law and Sanji. The Flamingo has tremendous physical might. His great leg strength allowed him to produce a 360-degree razor-sharp shockwave, which was powerful enough to instantly cut through all three towers of Dressrosa's royal palace in one swing. The Flamingo has tremendous speed and agility. He was able to dodge Ors Jr.'s ginormous punch and jumped over his humongous body while laughing like a fucking psychopath. In Volume 73, Chapter 729, he demonstrated his agility by dodging Law's attacks using his sky pad technique. Whether he's dodging powerful attacks or using as a defense, the Flamingo's speed is a key factor in his fighting style. This chapter won't be ended without the Flamingo's dull fruit, the Ito Ito no Mi. This fruit allows him to create and manipulate strings. The strings have the incredible cutting power which allowed Do Flamingo to effortlessly slice through almost anything. He also can use his strings to slice a gigantic meteor into tiny pieces. He uses these strings to perform devastating techniques like Parasite, which allows him to control his victim's body, and Birdcage, a colossal razor-sharp white doomed barrier, slicing absolutely everything that passes through it. Though strings were that strong, not even Fujitoro was able to cut them. Now let's analyze Katakuri. If we talk about his strength, Katakuri possesses immense physical strength, being able to flick jelly beans with such extreme force that they act like bullets. Even in a hand-to-hand -hand combat, Katakuri was able to defeat Ichiji while he was wearing a red suit with just one fucking kick. This guy has been called a monster for his strength ever since he was a kid. Katakuri's speed is another factor for his fighting style. Thanks to his advanced observation haki which allows him to see in the future for a couple of seconds, using that he was able to dodge Luffy's snake man attacks. He can even transform into a donut-shaped mochi which makes him even faster than Luffy. To be honest, there's not much time when Katakuri showed his speed. Most of the time, he was just chasing Luffy by walking. Katakuri's Mochi Mochi no Mi I know this could be surprising, but this is a special parmi setup del fruit. This fruit lets the user to create, control, and transform into mochi. You can attack this mochi with armor and haki to deliver extremely hard punches and kicks. It's also able to enlarge his mochi limbs to gigantic size and stretch them to increase his attack range. In the form of his future side, he could accurately predict the point of impact of his enemies' incoming attacks and morph his body into mochi to let them pass through. Also, this fruit was available weekend, with which he can alter the surroundings and turn it into mochi. <laughs> Now let's see how would the fight go. If we talk about Haki, I think Katakuri is much more stronger. Since both of them have all three types of Haki, but Katakuri has upper hand because of his future side. Luffy had to unlock his own future side just to defeat Katakuri. So if it was a Haki battle, Katakuri would have won easily. Now if it's about Devil Fruit, the fight would become full opposite. Most of the time, Katakuri was just mirroring Luffy's attacks. Since it was Mochi versus Rubber, it was much more harder for Luffy. But the same thing will be whole different for Doflamingo. With its razor sharp strings, Mingo can slice those mochi like butter. And even if you talk about abilities, Doflamingo has a much higher stand. But since Katakuri has future side and much more better haki position, that's why Katakuri wins. And also we know, Delfruit power can't rule the sea.